Hey YouTube Sabermetrics here. Um, this is this video is pretty much dedicated to the review of a monster binder. Um, I just got this today. Uh, fit all the cards, well most of the cards I've had um, into it. And uh, I didn't really see a review on um, YouTube anywhere and I, I was actually looking for one um, when I was going to go buy it. So hopefully this, I guess, uh, helps out the people who are trying to decide whether to buy it or not. So. Um, first off, uh, this is made in Germany, so um, it's actually quite high quality. Um, the, uh, you guess even the front cover, it looks like it's just flimsy plastic, but it's actually, uh, it's quality plastic. It's, um, it's actually uh, pretty thick. Um, it's even double layered plastic uh, at the back. You can see there's another sheet of plastic here. And um, even if you took like a, a knife or um, uh, keys or something and tried to scratch it, um, you wouldn't get to the cards, so it's um, it's quite durable. Um, also, uh, another good thing about it is that it holds 360 cards, so as you can see, I've got a ton of cards in here. Um, this pretty much makes up for at least two or three binders that you may have, uh, so it carries a lot more, so if you wanted to bring around um, your trade binder or something, uh, this would be a better option because you wouldn't have to carry two or three binders, which would be a lot heavier than just carrying this one binder. Uh, also, these uh, actually, as advertised, the cards actually slide in from the side, so it's a lot harder for someone just to kind of swipe and steal it if you're not looking, or even for the cards just to fall out. Um, so they're quite secure in there, um, even no matter how much you flap it around or anything, um, it won't fall out unlike the uh, regular binders where the cards kind of just came out the top. Um, so that's pretty good. Also, uh, the uh, each page is pretty much padded, so. Um, it's uh it also gives i guess a nice uh aesthetic look to it kind of makes it look like it's framed in black so um yeah those are pretty much the pros of it uh you won't find any of those with any other binder um now i guess on to the cons um the major con problem um that i had was this um yes, if I do that you can see there's like this little um ridge or bump uh, compared to the rest of the cards, and the, uh, the reason why is because as you add cards to it, I think the um, they didn't really make this um, the binder kind of wide enough, um, so the cards actually kind of starting to um, uh, create this kind of hill thing. Um, it's pretty much it's visible throughout. Um, even if I got to this page, is this kind of um, thing here? Uh, don't really know what to call it. I guess a bump, but yeah. Um, so it's not perfectly flat, unlike normal binders, um, and it kind of increases as um, the more cards you add in. So actually, I've left out uh, quite a number of pages um, just because uh, it was just getting too uh, um, ridged or bumpy kind of thing. So yeah, um, it doesn't really fit. Th it does fit 360 truly, but um, in reality, if you do fit 360, your binder is going to be really thick, and it's not really um, just kind of weird to have like a binder that's kind of uh, weirdly shaped at the top. So yeah, that's one of the big problems I had with it. Uh, hopefully, putting like a book on top of it to kind of try and flatten it will help, but I doubt it. Um, also, uh, as you can see here, all the uh, sides here um, they're pretty much they're flush with the, uh, the edges of the binder. And um, the problem with this is if you decide to uh, throw it into your uh, bag or something and then uh, head off to a tournament or your locals or something, um, you could very easily have, say, um, I don't know, your camera sticking out or even just your keys in your bag. And um, because it's just so close, um, you could easily just kind of damage your cards because it's just so close to the edge. So um, that's the other problem. But aside from that, this this binder is really nice. It's better than any other binder I've used. Um, my opinion, uh, if you do have the money, go for it. It's uh, it's quite an investment for a binder. I paid about sixty dollars U.S. for it, so um, by all, it's definitely not something. Um, uh, I guess you really shouldn't buy it if you only have cards. Uh, I guess low-end cards. Um, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just if you do have um, a lot of cards which are expensive, um, I, it's nice. It'll probably be a good idea to, to 
to get a binder like this to protect your investment. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's about it. Uh, so it is a good binder, um, unless you really hate this bump and uh, the other problem with the sides. But um, I definitely recommend it if you do have the money. Um, but if not, if you don't have the money, you're trying to save up for it, I'd actually recommend you just stick with your own binder, save that money for cards or something instead, or some other some other hobby. Um, yeah, because this, it's just something nice to have, but you don't really have to have it. So yeah. Um, overall, I'd probably give it a four and a half out of five stars. Nice binder, and that's it. If you have any questions or comments, um, just write something down in the comments below. You can message me too. I'll answer any questions about the binder. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya.